So today we decided to come out to see the lighthouse. Absolutely beautiful. I love this thing. So nice. We can see the coast. It's a bit cloudy and rainy, but I mean, my gosh, how can you beat this, you know? I mean, there's no one out here. There's random bits of shell. Oh, that's actually, that's a nice shell. It's soft and smooth. Um, we're going to go explore kind of the coastline. And so I'm glad you guys can come with us here and let's see what we find. It's a beautiful time, a lovely day, my goodness. Great. No, there's no point in arguing with how nice of a day this is. We have the whole beach to ourselves. I would say this light mist has created a, an especially beautiful time for us here. these tracks i mean these ones right here are going to be a little bit easy uh you have a guess um uh, like a deer or something yeah it's exactly a deer um so we have deers here uh in particular we can see three of them converging actually if we look over here in the reeds you can see some of the alder checks that have really been washed out from the deer and they're converging right here so we have roughly i can count one two three deer here uh in yeah. particular uh, one of them crosses over here so we can see this track and then two of them are coming up into here. One thing that deer like to do very often is walk in each other's tracks. So you have two kind of converging together and you can see deep inside of the track there's a slight deviation inside of the claws breaking in. As you walk a little bit further you still have the deer over there but then right over here yeah you see one of the deers peels off and actually goes over here. And you'll notice we have one pair of uh, hooves right here. They looked out into the ocean. I don't know what they were looking at, but that caught their attention. And then we can see that they pivot and now, now follow this deer. So now we have these two deer here, one deer here. Oh, that's domestic dog, much older than the deer tracks. You can actually see the separation. Now we have three deer that are available um, in their tracks. So they were stepping inside of each other's tracks and now they've started to separate. And we can see that they're spanning out. That if we look closely and I were to jam my fingers next to it, on the fresh track that I just made, you're gonna see the crumbles and the clumps of sand put together. You're also gonna see stress fractures inside of the soil right Is there. That the cracks? That's gonna be the cracks right there, yeah, the stress fractures. Next to it, we can see this reined in deer print right there. These reined in deer prints are gonna be indicative that these were made either while it was raining or earlier, right before it rained. So I'd put that maybe about five, six hours ago. Not too sure on that one. Uh, but we can definitely tell it wasn't super recent. If it was, we'd still see some of the stress fractures. We'd also see some of this uh, explosion of the soil. Next to it. Oh, 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 oh,